Well hi everybody, it's Chris Frame here and welcome to Singapore Airlines Airbus A380's new business class product. Now I flew on the A380 from Singapore through to London in November of 2019 and I was delighted when the seat map changed to show that we were in the new configuration, the new A380 business class. And so here's a look at the seat uh, up on the upper deck of the A380. It's absolutely a magnificent looking cabin very elegant looking seats and plenty of space so let's have a little look at what you get in this seat so firstly there's a huge screen uh, there's a coat hook there some space here for storage lots of space for storage that's like a little um, cubby that you can use to store personal items uh, there's some storage on the side here with the Singapore Airlines magazines and uh, Chris shop there's also the menu. Now, just like in my previous Singapore Airlines flights, I organize my meal through Book to Cook, so we'll go into that in a bit. Uh, and then we also have a USB port and a universal plug, and a space for you to swipe credit cards if you're making onboard purchases. Next to the seat, there is a fold down drinks table, so you can pull this down to utilize it if you want to hold a drink. Uh, there's also seat controls here for the various preset reclines and to set your seat to do not disturb. More uh, USB ports and a place for you to plug your headphones and some amenities. These include an eye mask, uh, some slippers and some socks. If you're looking for earplugs, toothbrushes and whatnot, you can get them from the cabin crew or they're about available in the bathrooms. So the seat also has a blanket, which you can see there. It was comfortable, good quality blanket, and there's also a, a doona there that goes uh, to make it feel a lot more comfortable, um, and a pillow. That's uh, perfect when the seat is in its sleep position. Now, welcome drinks were offered. They came around with uh, welcome champagne or water, so I went with champagne. And then the seat is controlled, well, the, the in-flight entertainment rather, is controlled by this uh, Chris World controller here. If you know how to use a, a smartphone, you'll be able to figure this out pretty easily. We also have a mirror with a light if you would like to keep an eye on your appearance. And a reading light that is adjustable uh, just like this. And that decorative lighting on the seat can be switched off as well. So the tray table pushes out when you push the button. It folds out next to the window on this particular seat uh, and then very nicely folds across in front of you. It's very uh, stable, would be fine for working on and also very large so that you can spread out your meal and enjoy business class in flight service. And then again, it goes on to the side there and can fold away. The nice thing about this is because it folds out on the side like that, you can use it for extra storage if you want to. Very easy. So let's check out the in-flight entertainment. Uh, the Chris uh, Flyer in-flight entertainment is uh, excellent. Uh, and uh, it has a lot of selections. There's a whole heap of movies of different genres. Then there's TV shows, box sets, um, audio, and of course the moving map. And so you can um, use the touch screen here or you can control it using the hand controller. And you can also find things by searching in their names. So in terms of dining, there is a full menu on board which you can select from whilst you're on the flight. You can also access this menu and a book the cook menu before you fly through the Singapore Airlines website. I did this and I selected book the cook and had pre-organized my meals. But if you didn't do that, there's certainly plenty to select from on board the aircraft. And so this includes the supper service, some snacks throughout the flight. Uh, and then we also had a breakfast offered to us before um, arrival into London Heathrow. So what would you have chosen for your meal options on this Singapore Airlines flight? Before takeoff, the crew brought around hot towels. Now again. 
Welcome aboard Singapore Airlines Flight 322, bound for London Heathrow. As you can see, we are one minute to uh, depart in time. The reason for this is that we've still got a bit of cargo to be loaded, and it will take another two minutes or three minutes from now before all doors are closed. This aircraft had Wi-Fi enabled on board, um, which I used. You can get some Wi-Fi complimentary if you're flying in business class. And the speed and quality was uh, as good as any airline that I've flown on. And then it was time for takeoff. And it always amazes me with the A380 how despite the fact that you're going very fast for takeoff, the aircraft doesn't really feel like it's at uh, takeoff velocity. And I don't know if you feel the same way, but the A380 takeoffs always seem so smooth to me, even though I've flown on them plenty of times before. So let's enjoy the takeoff. Just moments after we leveled off and the seatbelt sign was switched off, the cabin crew came around with uh, snacks including almonds and cashews and a drink service. They also brought around bottles of water for us to um, have during the flight. The first stage of the meal was the entree. As you can see here, it was a prawn dish. And they also brought around the delicious Singapore Airlines garlic bread. Uh, and for drinks, I went with the scotch and dry. Now while the food service on Singapore Airlines is usually very good, I'd ordered the burger on the book to cook before the flight and unfortunately it wasn't very nice at all. Uh, the bread was soggy, the meat patty was very hard uh, and I didn't really eat very much of it which is a bit of a shame uh, because it had the potential to be uh, really tasty. But the crew did bring around some extra breads and snacks for me during the flight. To finish off there was a mango pudding which was very tasty and it came with some, some berries and fruit. So after dinner it was time for a sleep uh, and so the seat goes into a full flat bed mode and unlike the old seats you don't actually have to get out of the seat in order to turn it into a bed it just folds into uh, a fully flat bed and it comes with the doona um, as well as the pillow there to keep it nice and comfortable. The next morning woke up and it was time for breakfast. Now the breakfast again I booked through Book the Cook, the main course anyway, but the breakfast was very um, substantial and there was uh, a variety of different things to choose from before the meal started, including fruit and a bread service. Then there was also cereal and I went for Special K. Uh, I had a busy day in London planned and I didn't know if I was going to get lunch so I thought I may as well make the most of the occasion on board the aircraft. Now my book, The Cook Meal, was poached eggs. It was an eggs benedict with some potato and uh, some asparagus, which you can see there. The eggs were absolutely perfect, uh, which is really hard to do on an aircraft, 
uh, but they were just brilliant. So uh, full thumbs up to the Singapore Airlines breakfast. Now just for those of you who haven't flown on the Airbus A380, there is a variety of different bathrooms to choose from. This is just a view of one of them. As I mentioned before, there's amenities in the bathroom so you can clean your teeth uh, and uh, freshen up. There's also a vanity mirror there, uh, the sink, a pedal powered bin, allowing you not to have to touch it to, to put rubbish in there, uh, and all sorts of different amenities, uh, as well as a coat hook uh, for you if you need to hang up your coat. We are 183 miles from London Heathrow, flying over Belgium at the moment, and shortly we'll be commencing our descent. So thank you so much for joining me and welcome to London Heathrow. I hope you enjoyed this uh, flight on Singapore Airlines, checking out the new business class product. The seat itself is a very comfortable seat in all modes. Uh, if you're tall like me, it might be a little bit restrictive when it comes to sleeping with the space that's available for your feet. And I think for this reason, I might just prefer the old seat for sleeping, although it still had that same problem with a small foot rest area when you're sleeping. I think it had a slightly bigger space for your feet. I think the trick that I would uh, recommend here, having walked the cabin, is if you are tall, choose a bulkhead or emergency exit seat because they seem to have a bigger footrest area, a place for you to put your feet when you're in bed mode. The fact that the seat can be put into its fully flat bed uh, function without having to get out of the seat and fold it over like the old ones is definitely a plus. Uh, the food on board, with the exception of the burger, was excellent. It's a shame about that uh, that burger. I'm assuming it was just an off day uh, because everything else was perfect and particularly those poached eggs being restaurant quality it was very impressive because I imagine it's quite hard to poach an egg on an aircraft. Um, I also always enjoy the Singapore Airlines service. The cabin crew were extremely attentive. The pilot was great he gave lots of detailed information before our departure and also on our arrival uh, and the aircraft itself was in perfect condition everything worked nice bathrooms lots of space uh, and it's always a joy to fly on the airbus a380 so let me know what you think in the comments below if you're interested in seeing the old singapore airlines a380 product uh, check out my video there's a link in the description and also a card on the screen now uh, and uh, thanks so much for watching once again uh, my trip then took me on board the Queen Mary 2, so if you're interested in cruising, check out my Queen Mary 2 videos. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe if you like this kind of content, and until next time, thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you on board.